Okay, so here we are in Beat Saber on the Quest 2. Um, we'll just take a look at the version, which is 1.28, uh, and we're just going to take a look at the replay settings now. Um, so if you want to go to Mod Settings, Quest UI, and Replay, here we go. Um, so to start off with, everything's the same here. Um, these are all my old settings. Uh, as soon as I installed this new mod that Metalit gave me, um, everything was saved from a, my old replay file. Uh, so yeah, you don't have to worry about that if you had it previously. Um, and again, looking off to the left hand side here, um, all my graphics settings have stayed the same from previous. Um, again, I'll run through these just in case you haven't seen them. Uh, PC walls, uh, so this is when you're watching a replay or I think maybe just for renders, um, but it'll put in PC walls for you. Uh, PC mirrors is the reflection underneath. Where's that controller in my face? There we go, sorry about that. Um, the reflection on the like track underneath you uh, and underneath the blocks. Um, shockwaves is, again, when you hit the block, it will send out a shockwave, so it will show that in your replays, renders. Uh, the resolution, the bitrate, um, your FOV, and your FPS. Now, there's another tab up here called rendering. Um, this is a, a new feature. Uh, so we've got disable camera, which we had previously allow pauses and a new one here is ding uh, so it's basically once a render is finished it will play a little ding sound which is very handy if you want to walk off and do something while it's sat rendering on the desk um, so yeah that's a nice little feature now the new things that I did, if we look over to the right here, the first time I saw this I was like what the hell is happening um, but these are basically controls for when you're watching a replay Okay, so you can set them to um, any of the buttons on either controller or both. Um, and we'll run through these now. So skip forward, skips around in time while watching the replay. Skip backwards, same thing but backwards. Um, the time skip amount, um, number of seconds, uh, speed up. So speed up your replay, slow down your replay, and then there's movement button, um, enables moving to a desired third person position when held. This reminds me of the old replay mod um, when Hemwell 8 used to do it, um, because I used to do third person videos and I'd sort of position the camera at different angles um, and do like a, a side by side video and stuff like that. Um, and then to do with the movement again, there's travel forward, um, travel backward, and there's your travel speed. So you can set this up however you want to all the different buttons on your controllers, something you feel comfortable with. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so next we've got positions. Um, this is um, third person position, X, Y, and Z axis. Um, and then you can reset your positions and then third per person rotation x y and z um i'm not sure what rotation is exactly but um anyway those option, op options are there uh, level rotation and reset rotation um so that's it for the settings in replay now let's just take a little look in the actual um, replay when you click the little button next to a video so I'm just gonna click uh, I'll click this oh no uh, I, sorry I need to pick a, a song I've played previously when I had the replay uh, mod last um, Ah, here we go. Uh, so, as always, there's the little replay button here. Um, you click on that, and now we've got watch replay, which was normal, and we've got the same options here, normal, smooth camera, third person. Um, then we've got render replay, which was there previously, and now we've also got add to render queue. Okay, um, and then we've 
also got a little settings icon here, which is pretty cool. It takes you back to the uh, settings. So if you want to change settings per video, you can quickly jump out here, change your settings, and then jump back in. Um, one thing I missed as well over here on the rendering, um, they're grayed out, but if you were to start adding things to the render queue, um, it would then come up, I'm guessing here, I haven't actually tried this yet, but it'd probably come up here with a list of um, the maps that you've queued and you can just click begin queue um, or clear the queue if you want. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm going to render a map um, and then once that's finished, um, we're going to jump back out to the PC and look at sort of the little changes there to do with the render folder and such. So we'll jump back out to the PC um, once I've rendered a map. Okay, so I've just finished rendering um, a video. Um, a couple of changes to note. There is no longer the sort of, sort of stuttery audio sound while it's rendering. Um, Metal it said now what happens is the uh, the mod mutes the game audio while it's rendering the video um, and then it renders the audio straight after. So if you have your sound on, um, it will just be silent and the screen will be black while it's rendering the video. Then afterwards you will hear the song play through in full. Um, that's recording the audio and then it does play, if you have the ding sound turned on, it plays a nice little ding sound basically to let you know the audio is finished. Um, so yeah, now that that's done, um, we are on side quest here and we're going to go into the manage files on headset folder up here and then we're going to scroll down because instead of dropping them just in this main folder now, there is now a renders folder um, and if we go into the renders folder, uh, you can see it not only renders the video and audio at the same time, but it also names them. Uh, by whatever the song is that you've uh, rendered. So that's really cool. Um, so I'm going to save these now. Save that one at the same time. Um, I did test quickly before making this video. You still can't put this video file straight into editing software. You will still need to re-encode it. Um, so we'll do that just in a second once this finishes. That's done and there goes the audio file. Okay, so as I've, as you've probably seen in my previous videos, I recommend Shutter Encoder. You can also use Handbrake, but Shutter Encoder I think is better. They're both free, so it's your choice what you want to do. Um, so what you want to do is browse for your so there's the files I've just downloaded. So there's the video file. Um, I'm making a slight change now because I use DaVinci Resolve um, instead of Adobe Premiere like I used to. And Adobe Premiere, um, I used to use Apple ProRes, but DaVinci Resolve doesn't export in Apple ProRes. So I'm going to use DNxHR. Um, very similar editing format, same as Apple ProRes. But if DaVinci Resolve uses that, then I'm just going to use that for workflow purposes. Um, going to change this to 444. Um, I'm going to leave source just as is. Um, I render a 2560, 1440. If you do want to upscale, you can change this to like 3840, 2160. But you're just going to add a bit of time um, when you're uploading to YouTube and editing and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to start function here and this will process through. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead here and then we'll uh, jump in the editing software. Okay, Shutter Encode is finished. So now we're going to open DaVinci Resolve. Um, you'll be met with this. There's the untitled project default here. Double click that. First thing you want to do is go up to File, Project Settings. Um, and adjust this to fit your video. Um, if you do 1080, then 1080 is there. There's 4K, all different resolutions. If you are doing 2560, 1440 like me, you have to manually enter it. So select custom and then type in 2560, 
1440 and then make sure you change the frame rate to 60 fps um assuming you're doing 60 but i think this caps out at 60 anyway so uh next we're going to import the media so here's the file that shutter encoder spat out and we're going to import again and go to downloads and select the audio file from the render so we've got those two things then we're going to go over to the editing tab and we're going to drop these on the timeline and we're going to check the audio under the video um, then we're going to play that and just make sure it's all right seems pretty good um, and what you can do is if you just find the first blocks to hit um, and even though with this um, the new um, replay um, mod this is generally in time like it's matched up most of the time you might occasionally still get this very slightly out of sync most people won't even notice that it's out of sync but i'm very pedantic about these things so i'm just showing you how to do this if it happens to be out of sync but um metal it said everything they've uh, rendered so far has been in time so maybe it's just my bad luck that it happened on this map um but anyway all you would do is find where the hit sound starts and then line it up by dragging this along the timeline so it matches when the blocks get hit so I've lined that up now. Just play it to see if it's fine. That looks good. Um, so now we're ready to export. Uh, so you come along this bottom bar here, go to this little rocket ship, looks like a GameStop rocket ship. Um, and this is your export settings. Uh, so if you just want to do standard like H.264 or YouTube 1080, you can use these options up at the top and you'll get a, a smaller file size than what I'm going to show you. Um, but I want best quality. So we're going to name it first. Um, we'll just call this render. And um, we're going to set the location. Again, I'm going to use my encodes folder. And then we come down. We've got the codec, I want to change this to DNxHR like I selected in Shutter Encoder. I want to change the format to MXF OP1A. Um, this is uh, a container that um, contains both video and audio. The other one, MXF uh, OP Atom, uh, I think splits the audio and video, so we don't want to do that. Um, anyway, once that's selected, all good, 60 frames per second, uh, the correct resolution, and all you would do is click add to render queue. It pops it up over here, and then you would just click render all. Um, again, this is gonna be a big file size, and it's gonna take a while to upload to YouTube. It's gonna be about three hours, at least it, it was for me. Um, but it's better quality, I found overall, because YouTube processes it on, on its end. Um, so even if you've uh, done a reduced file size here and YouTube's going to reprocess it again. So I rather put the best quality file in at my end and then YouTube is going to sort of process it and, you know, compress it a little bit. Um, so that's my method. But if it's if the files are too big for you, just use uh, something else like H.264, H.265. Um, it's totally fine. Um, so that's it for that. Uh, let me just shut this off and I'm just going to go over a couple of points the metal it said to me uh, so the full set of changes for this are um, we've gone over most of them but it automatically renders audio along with the video so again like I said before it does the video then the audio all in one go um, but it still doesn't combine them yet so I do think Metalit is really trying hard to work on getting them to be combined on the headset. Um, so that's something to look forward to in the future. Um, recorded audio will be synchronized with video without needing to make any changes. Again, like I said, it's much, much better than it used to be. Um, just 
very occasionally maybe a video might be slightly out of sync with the audio but again unless you're being really finicky you won't notice it i don't think um it also um, adds extra time now to the end of the video renders um to remove sometimes early cutoff um again i'd had this in the past on the odd map it would just suddenly cut off so that's a nice little addition um, and then as we saw earlier it places render outputs in the renders folder in your quest and names them based on the song um, and the final one is you can now queue renders on multiple levels so we saw all that before um, but I just wanted to run over those points um, that Methylet pointed out to me uh, so that's about it for this video if you have any questions um, feel free to drop them in the comments below and thanks for watching Hey guys, as always thanks for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, feel free to comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.